Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Operator Terminal Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mad, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can create a list of messages using an integer variable, but not using a string variable. So let's go to the application. So let's start by creating a new project. So the idea now is to show a text, but using a variable that is not a string. Um, in Visual Design, we have a, a list text, I believe, uh, was the name. Um, here we have something different. So, all we need to do first, in my case, I'm going to create a variable. It's going to be, for example, i status or i states. So, here I define a variable that probably is coming from the PLC, from another side, doesn't matter at the moment. And then going to use it in the system. Screen. There we go. Then let's expand this and use the numeric display. Kind of drop. Oops. And then use the string display. Okay. So on this one, just select the variable two ways and it's done now on the string if we try to do the same variables select this one we got this message because it's a mismatch we are trying to use in a text uh, an integer value or doesn't that that is not a string so we have an issue so in order to sort this out let me just put uh, so 15, let's try to use something like this. So in Ecostructure Operator Terminal Expert, it is key here to use the converters. So here we need to use a converter uh, range. So list text um, set motor range. So the input for this, imagine like if you have a function block and you have something in the input and something that's going out. So numeric and the result is going to be a string. So here we just need to specify the range. So if the value is zero, I'm going to show motor off. If the value is on, motor on. <laughs> A motor running, motor running, motor off, uh, if it's three volt and something else, but a lot of doesn't matter. Uh, probably you cannot see it, it's in here. So, number three. It's going to be fault and something else is going to be fatal error so you can still add more conditions if you want number five you will add it over here so number 10 number 10 for example it's going to be hello there so let's go back now to our screen so we still have Fold now here in variables again. When we select the variable here, we should be able to see the converter. So we need to select converter and use this. Once we use the converter, this is only one way in, so we cannot type again. Okay, and here this is still in red. We just need to disable this because we cannot access now to the variable, it's only showing. So now if I Simulate this. If you see the other screen, which is green, this one. So as you can see here is motor off. I use number one, motor running, number two, fatal error because it's not in my list. Number three is fault. 
number 10 is hello there and something else path 11 so this is how you can use like a text list inside your product terminal expert instead of showing uh integral value we shall so we shall show the text that we want to to show so the important thing here is how we can use the converters so it's important to use the converters when we want to do this and we need to create that converter type range in order to make it work this way so thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one Thank you.